Hi guys and welcome back here on my channel Sketch Tricks. Today I will show you how I will create textiles in a very fast and efficient way and well organized. Here in my case I build up uh, textiles for a web application, a res responsive web application um, and here are the styles and here you can see how it works. Here I have the heading styles, H1, H2, H3, and L, M, S stands for viewports, L is desktop, M is for tablet devices, and S for all mobile screens. Color, color, in my case black, blue, and white, and then the last one, the orientation of, of the font. In my case I have center, and left and you can see this is really well organized and there is no chaos okay then let's go to the to another page and start first of all um, before you start you have to install two plugins I used to create these uh, textiles the first one is the find uh, the, the find and replace plugin. It's a very, really cool plugin. You can find it on GitHub. I I put the link here down. And the second one, this is a really really great plugin. I love it so much, and it uh, saves so much time. This is the sketch style generator plugin, where you can generate styles multiple styles by just one click this is really great and okay I start with uh, with my headlines here uh, I put the first one here h1 with 40 40 pixel and line height uh, 48 prepared these styles and now what I'm doing here Okay, I, I'll mark all and to have a little bit more, put this all in one stack group with 40 pixel. Okay. Okay, then here I'll copy this to the grid, mark all. And now I want to have the, the center style, the black center style. And what I have to do now, now I have to replace the wordings here, the orientation from, from left to center. Then I have to go to plug in, find and rename. Uh, where is it? Find and rename. Uh, find and replace, sorry. And then replace, and I want to find here left, left, and replace it here with center. Okay, check selected layers. Okay, then I go to replace, and you can see here center will be replaced, and here in the layer names it's also be replaced this is great and here down I write it here center okay and I leave it here gray okay and then I duplicate then Oops. Okay. I'll fix it here. Okay, select color of white. Um two plugins. Find and replace. And now I want to uh, replace the word black, black to white. 
right. And replace. Okay, white, white, white. Here, check, 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 check. This is all done, okay. White, 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 okay. Select all again, or just go here to the step groups. Oops. And now I want to have the blue one. For this, I will copy this color here. Okay, that's already here. Um, then check the color. Go to plugins. Find and replace. And replace blue with white. And replace. Then check here. Blue center, blue center. This is ready now. This is ready for viewport L and then I duplicate this folder textiles viewport L and and rename it here viewport M. M. I select all these and change this the size from or oh, for example from forty to thirty thirty two and set the line height to forty pixels. And okay, write it out here. Select all these styles. <clears throat> and go from thirty two, select twenty four. And line height 32, 32. And here we have 32. We have 24. In that case, uh, it makes no sense from to go from for me twenty four to uh, to sixteen because of uh, sixteen is also in paragraph text here. No, it's eighteen, but that's not so much difference. Then, then I go here to thirty two, leave it here and. This uh, or let's let's go here from 
from 40 to 48 and here 48 and line height to 56 so that's better I think we have here 48 56 32 and let's go here H2, 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 H2. Let's go here to 30, 40, and here to 48. And here we have 32, 24, okay. And here. This is just an example and just to demonstrate. Okay, then go here to 40 pixel and here to 48. And here. Go to Thirty-two and line height forty pixel, and then we have here twenty-four. This is good. This works. Okay, then let's select here. Uh, let's change here uh, L to M, and here in my case uh, P paragraph is also the same size uh, from from desktop to to mobile therefore I have not to change this here but h1 to uh, h1 to to subline I will change it here and then uh, mark all these styles then go again to plugins um, find and replace then find L and replace with M and let's see go and bam oops something went wrong here Go back, do it back again, okay. Then I have to try it again with, a, with an adjustment, I hope. Plugins, find and replace. So case sensitive, case sensitive. I try this here. Selected layer, case sensitive, then check out and it works here. Yeah. Black, black, black. Then check here on the layers panel. Black, 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 black. This is M. M, M, M. Okay, this looks great. Then duplicate this once again. Okay, now I'm ready here. Let's, let's look 
Let's change this to M. And this to S. If you put S, bring it on the top. So on the second, L, M, and S. Let's go to the magic part. Uh, let's create the textiles. Now we didn't, uh, we don't have any textiles yet. This one and simple thing here is just to you just have to mark every uh, every element here, and I will do it here again. We'll do it here now. And then I have to go to plugins, generate, style generator, generate shared styles, and boom. And do it here again. Oops. Press command. And shortcut is command control G for it, and here it's the same one. Shortcut generate styles is command control G. You see here styles created 18 updated, updated 42. Then let's see, then go to here. Textiles, and you can see I have H1, H2, H3, navi navigation, subline, paragraph 1, paragraph 2, and small text. And let's see H1, L, and viewport L, viewport M, viewport S, in black center, black left, in blue center, left, in white center, left, M, in black center, left, blue, all is here. And it's, it was very, very, very fast and very quick way, and it's very well organized. So, this is fine, and this is, yeah, this is the plugin. And this is how I create textiles. Textiles and yeah, you can create also other styles here. In that case, I created uh, shared styles. You can go here, you can see all the styles. But this uh, I will show you uh, in another video tutorial, and yeah, and I will show you also how you can creates uh, icons very very fast in a fast way and yeah this was the video and I hope you liked it and yeah I will put the the source files in the uh, description below and yeah we'll see you in the next video bye bye